Welcome back. We are back with the latest installment of the Downtown is Trending Makeover Contest. Joining us on the show today, sitting next to me, we have Johnny Yeomans with Johnny Styling Studios. Great to have you back. Yeah, thanks for having yes. us. Yes, perhaps you'd like to introduce the other members of this uh, particular makeover that helped to make uh, the uh, makeover winner look so beautiful today. Uh, and also we should introduce mm -hmm. uh, her first, I would say, Camelia Drake. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, you are the selected winner this uh, month, Yay. so it's great to have you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll let you explain her story just a bit. Yes, so Camelia actually uh, applied to be one of the free makeovers in April. And then she also, and that was when her she is a breast cancer survivor, so we're just so excited for her. And I wanted to definitely have her as part of our makeovers for the Downtown is Trending. And then we reconnected again in September. And I said, how would you like to come and be a part of it this month so that when the makeover is completed, it will be for October. And October is, is Breast Cancer Month as well. So mm -hmm. we were just so excited to have her um, come and be a part of this for this season and um, yeah so thank you so much for being such a, a wonderful makeover for all of us. So uh, lots of people come on board to help make Camelia look uh, mm -hmm. all made over and looking great. Uh, perhaps we'll start with uh, uh, Rosie from Castles and Cottages. Hello. Let's talk about your part of this. Um, well um, we did the accessories so that's the scarf, the handbag, the, the boots and the uh, hat and the necklace. Yeah. Let's talk about the scarf. It seems like long flowy things are very popular yeah, this season. Really popular. It's really trendy and that's why I picked that for her. I wanted her to be hip and feel hip and and uh, happy. So, Did the hat come from you? Yes. Okay, let's talk about what kind of a hat would you go, what, what kind of a hat is that? Um, so it's all kind of a playback on the 70s. Right. Yeah. Is that what's coming in, all yeah. the 70s and stuff? I'm so happy because that's my era. Is that your era? So <laughs> yeah. Would you have saved anything from that time or are you oh, just going to no, buy it no, new? no, no, no. Buy it new. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. We have a picture, if we could get a close-up of uh, Camellia or we could go straight to her picture. So this is you before mm -hmm. and then the after is just amazing and, and somebody's obviously uh, done a lot of work on your makeup of course that would be you Johnny um, and the hair but maybe we'll firstly go to the look boutique Charlene Patco mm -hmm. uh, what part did you have to play um, I was supplying her shoes for her photo shoot for the paper mm -hmm. and um, the shoes I had chosen are the red Mismus from New York which are on the table mm -hmm. they're quite a chic look and uh, offers just something a little edgy for Kamloops. They are edgy, they're yeah. fine. Very edgy. Beautiful. And they smell good, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the leather is beautiful. Yes. The other line I brought a sample of is Marks, and those are out of um, Germany. Okay. And they recently hired a brand new designer, so their footwear is really being stepped up. And of course, with the curved up toe is definitely European look. Absolutely. And then Camelia is wearing on her feet right now a handmade pair of boots, yeah. apparently. AS98 from Italy. Beautiful. And um, this is another little bunch of things that are all also um, kind of 70s inspired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole, this whole 70s thing is coming back. Yeah. And what's really nice too is what I loved is, you know, this outfit can be worn with the tan and then also with the black. Absolutely. And then it looked beautiful, which you'll see in the newspaper on Friday, downtown is trending with the red shoe as well, Chardin. It looked just so, mm -hmm. it just really popped as well for more of that real dressy sort of yeah. look. Yeah. So it's really neat to see these, all these different looks by putting it all together. And we have to thank Arwen for yes. the tights. Yeah, so Arwen Apparel also um, donated the bamboo tights, mm -hmm. natural bamboo fiber, and so it's just been a real community of the downtown putting together this wonderful makeover this time. And Karen Hunger, you're with Enhanced Reflections Medi Spa. What kind of treatments did Camille have there? I bet it was relaxing. Yeah, so it was so nice to get to spoil you. So what we're doing is we're, um, we just launched, it's called Enhanced IV Wellness. So what me and Dr. Tracy Levins, she's one of the naturopaths at the clinic. So what we're doing is we're matching the IVs with spa treatments. So what we did was an energy boost. So you can do either an energy boost, an immune boost, muscle recovery. And um, what we did was the energy boost. So she did the intramuscular injection. So you can do that or IV bags. And then we matched it with a, with a massage. So we did the raindrop oil massage. So you just choose essential oils that are really uplifting. And, and yeah, I got to pamper her. 
Fantastic. It's nice mm -hmm. to be pampered, isn't it? <laughs> Positive experience, it sounds like, uh, from uh, for Camelia, and, and thanks to all of you for helping make it happen. Uh, she sounds like the perfect person to be mm -hmm. uh, getting uh, the, uh, the the makeover this month, for sure, as we head into October, being breast cancer. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Johnny, th anything else that you would like to add? Yeah, I, I also wanted to thank our in-house uh, makeup artist, mm -hmm. uh, Kate Bain. She did an amazing job, and we just really, really wanted to create that nice, beautiful glow that is in her skin already. And and then also mm -hmm. too, regarding her fashion, um, you know, she had lost her hair, and her hair had come back after her treatments quite curly. And, um, and so what we did is we just um, created a bit of a texture vibe into her look and we did a demi-permanent soya-based natural nice. color that only lasts six weeks. And so the whole vibe for her, for Camellia, was to give her that real natural, but a wonderful um, experience in the whole downtown community. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic ladies, well done. Um, perhaps uh, if anybody else is interested in nominating somebody or having somebody yes. be a part, you're doing it again in November. We are, and so we're doing it with Arwen Apparel. And you can go on to, we've put a Facebook page together, which is Kamloops Downtown is Trending. And you can put a selfie in there and share you, yourself, or um, maybe one of your family members or a dear friend that you would like to nominate as the next makeover. And it's just been a real wonderful experience mm -hmm. for, for us as a community of salon and store owners as well as for the the wonderful makeovers that get to experience the downtown. Awesome, you guys. Thank you for all being here today. And Camille, you look beautiful, so thank you as well. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if you're interested in nominating somebody, johnnies.com is where you can go, absolutely. As well, beautiful at johnnies.com is the email address. We are back in two minutes. Stay with us.